Hi, Fergal here. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to plot an exponential function. This particular exponential function is y equal to 2 to the power of x and we're going to plot it over the domain from minus 3 to 3. Okay, why do we call this an exponential function? Let's write the word down. We call it an exponential function because the variable in the function x is the exponent. An exponent is the same word as power or index. So we have 2 to the power of x, we have x is an exponent, or we could call it a power, or we can call it an index. All of these words mean the same thing. So where the variable is a power, or an exponent, we have what's called an exponential function. And an exponential function will have a particular shape. You'll see this now when we draw it. Okay, what we need to do is we need to, we need to sub in the values from minus 3 up to 3. So we'll sub in minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and up as far as 3. Um, I'm going to draw a table to do this. So we'll have our x value here. and our y value here, which is the output. So I want to do minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, when x is minus 3, we have 2 to the power of minus 3 is equal to, what is this? We have a minus power. Okay, well there's a little rule that you're going to need to know first of all, and that is that, uh, let's write it over here. On page 21 of your tables, you will see that a to the power of minus p is equal to 1 over a to the power of p. So this is the rule that you're going to use for these exponential functions where we have a minus power. Okay, so in this instance, 2 to the power of minus 3 should be 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Now what's 2 to the power of 3? Well that's 1 over 2 by 2 by 2, which is 1 over, well 2 by 2 is 4, by 2 is 8. Now the most common mistake people make with powers is they confuse it with multiplication and they say that 2 to the power of 3 is 6. Of course it isn't. You multiply 2 by 2 and then by 2 again, so we get 1 over 8. So we can fill in now in my table when x is minus 3, y is 1 over 8. Similarly when x is minus 2, we have 2 to the power of minus 2, which is 1 over 2 squared which is 1 over 4. So I can fill in now in there as well. When x is minus 1, we have 2 to the power of minus 1, which is 1 over 2. Now when x is 0, we have another rule which you need to know. So that is that a to the power of 0 is 1. So let's put that in a little red box as well. So that means no matter what is the base in our exponential function, whenever it is raised to the power of 0, we will get 1. Now 2 to the power of 1 is just 2. 2 squared is simply 4. And 2 cubed is 8. So I now have my inputs, which is in the x values, my domain, and my outputs, which is the range, goes from 1 eighth up to 8. You'll notice all of these outputs are positive, and this is another feature of an exponential function. As long as the base is a positive number, when we raise it to any power, negative or positive, we will get a positive answer. 
So my range will always be positive if the base is positive. So now I can start to plot these values. OK, so here's my table and now I want to draw my graph. Remember my domain goes from minus 3 up to 3 and my range from 1 8 up to 8. So I need to go as high as 8. OK, so when x is minus 3, here's my x-axis. This is my y-axis. OK, when x is minus 3, we got 1 8. OK, 1 8 is, there's a half. It's very, very small. It's just down here somewhere. Let's try and do our dot as big as possible. When x is minus 2, we get a quarter, which is here. When x is minus 1, we get a half as our output. When x is 0, we get 1. So it's starting to creep up a bit. When x is 1, we have 2. And you can start to see that the slope of the curve is increasing as we go left to right. This is a feature of exponential functions where the base is a, a bigger than 1, like this. And when x is 2, we have 4. And when x is 3, we get 8. Now when you're plotting this, make sure you plot it like a curve. Um, I'm going to start over here. And that looks pretty accurate. OK, um, what I suggest you do is you try this yourself for perhaps, uh, let's see this function here now, uh, y equal to 3 to the power of x, and do that in the domain minus 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3. Uh, so this is a little challenge for yourself. And just remember the rules, which I'm going to double check or recap on now. When we have a minus power, a to the power of minus p is 1 over a to the p. And when we have any base to the power of 0, we get 1. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you'll join me for the next one.